All right, go for it. Do you want to run through the replicas step? And I'll do it. No? Okay, so um, what we do with our... What's it called first? Oh, our product's called Quick Light. Uh, quick this light. is the Quick Light 200, and this is the Quick Light 100 um, from Assure Controls. Okay. But we're measuring uh, bioluminescence of our plankton, and we're using it as a biosensor. So we first will take a control reading of uh, just artificial seawater and plankton. So that'll be filled up in this cartridge with our control. There's six replicates in there, so we can get an average to get a better, uh, better data set. This will be put into a machine. We're able to run through a test. This would be closed normally to keep a light tight chamber, but the agitation is happening up here through the nozzle. The agitation, okay. agitation goes down through these straws, bubbling into the liquid into this container, um, which is then where the camera in the back picks up the light output. So, so it's agitation fluorescence. It's, it's agitation, not, it's not, not light stimulation. Correct, correct. And then, uh, so this would be the control. This would be a reading that you would set as your baseline 100%. And then you would take your samples which you need 35 ml of your water sample. And then after that, we add five ml of our plankton. Then they get dosed into this cartridge. That's where they begin their four hour exposure period. And you, and you, you do them at room temperature? Yep. Or what you, okay. Room temperature or uh, whatever your sampling temperature is at is okay. fine for them. Okay. Um, they get dosed up and put in here. Then they start their exposure period for four hours, 24 hours preferred. But uh, at four hours, you can put it in the machine and you'll get your uh, results compared against the control. But you can do it at, at four hours and save the same unit Correct. and do it again at 24. Correct. Yeah, Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it's compared against the control. Um, when you have a 50% drop in light output, that's when you know you have a problem. You can go back and do some more sampling. Okay, cool. And so, and how much how much do these guys cost? Tell me, tell me what the price of these things are. Um, so this is the this, 200 you said. Yeah, quick light 200. This is five thousand dollars, okay. and then fifty dollar test kits. Okay. The test kit includes six cartridges, so basically one control and five tests. Okay. With the plankton supplied with it. Okay. So those are fifty dollars test kits to get resupplied. So ten bucks, ten bucks a test. Then? Basically. Yeah. Okay. Basically ten dollars a test, uh, five thousand for the well, instrument. Except for the, except for the instrument. Right. right. And then uh, this is around eight hundred dollars for uh, a little lab unit that that doesn't have the interface here. It uses a computer USB. Okay. okay. Um, but we first came out with this one. People said they wanted a screen, so then we put a screen on it, and then now the tablets and Bluetooth has come out. They're kind of okay. saying we want to go back to this so we can communicate. Okay. But this is cheaper. Well, this, this is, is the same this in, the, exactly. the in, internal sensor and everything all the same. Exactly. So this cartridge fits in there just like that. This camera is identical to this camera on the back. It's just a smaller cool. lab version cool. or a or even a field unit if you have a laptop. Um, but yeah, these are five thousand dollars. $800 and then $50 test kits, but we negotiate with schools, cool. uh, agencies, whatever, cool. whatever needs to get, uh, get done. So we have a lot of situations where we have schools use this 50% and then pay for test kits awesome. or different situations. So yeah, it's all negotiable. All right. And so, in, and we call it, what's, what's the overall name of the whole system with Assure? Is that what we call it? Yeah. Assure Controls is the name of the company. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool.